Mount Olive Culinary and Hospitality Management Shillong ka cut admission haki professional courses prepare prepare yaka jingtiap ka ba khamnya lecture city office 100 full academy ha malki ki samla ki blasha kem na rimpu bagan kila phla bakila shale asan haki pulit ka west garo hills na do ka por bakila shakem ha do bakinda yo jamen bat kila pen pau ka jingbam sngo shingan sho yala ka jingim Kamtam hadin bikila sha pins lemno ka jing bishar ka bala dei ban le haka khat pratrik mentau banai ka to ka nengot na kini ki samla ki bala wan banya kren mar kila patha khubor shillong kila etho manadu bakila sha kyam haka janme jo ka arpo artrik unai tu menchim snem kila sha pendik haki pulit da ka ba hapan up hado prakanta haka te ka med tang ban le ya ka medical check up kila etho ba hadin bala ra ya ki sha thanan ru kim shim la yo bam na lor ba ka jing kyam ya ki ka dei tang ka jing no na mar kim shim la le ai ai ka bas niu haka te ka jaka Kini ki samla ki bam kwa pen pau kreteng na pen itu ya ki dur khamat ki lai tu baha kate ki sngi ki lai lai charin puk bagan om da ka jing tu ban lai kam sniu hendra ki lai lai ban shong ka es ngob ha da ka jing bam tem ba kan dan ka nuk nuk ka jing ja ban kin no ba kate ki jaka ka dei ka khtem ba lai kam au ria ki lai tu shu shu ba hadin ba ki lai yo jamen ka tu ka ni ki lai lai ban ujor shaka national human rights commission ba don ru ki ba lai lai ban ujor shaka meghalaya human rights commission mhrc ba hadi ni ka jing ujor ba ro wala iti ban bishar haka mhrc ba labu tarek ru ban bishar haka khat phra tarek u kalaling kor arja ar pula pen ban om shim la shong bishar satya da ka ba pen kinria ya ka jing bishar ban leno ha ulber hadi ni jong election Kini ki samla kila ka noru ba ki pulet hapo ga jialam jong West Peak ka West Garo Hills u Vivek Kananda Rathor ba ka mamata hajong ka badei ka investigating officer na lor ba kila le sat yaki haka ka nyo tarik mentau bana ki pulet hapo ga jialam jong West Peak kila pentep ba ya ka jing bishal apin kin rea shadu u banail ber kini ki samla kila bo jing ka liru halor ka jing pen slam ban bishar ba ban pen yo ya ka hok ba kila ong balada ja ai ai yaki hapareng ga ne ka jing pen slam manu ban ba khle Hato ki pulit kin ba khli ne ka MHRC kini ki samla ki badan menta shilong ila tho ba kin prashang ma yakan duru yo chair person jong ka MHRC ban kirpa di u ban pin kloi ya ka jing bishar la ban pin kin mau ba ki pulit ka west garo hill saka arpo arthur ek jong naiting jong snem baladep ki la khendra ya ka farm house jong MDC u ba deiru vice president ga BJP u bernard en marak ka balatip da ka rimpu bagan ka badan hapo eden bari halor ka jing kno ba ya ka te ga jaka la pin long khtam aurya ba ha ka te ga sngi ba ki pulit ki la khendra ki la kemru hadu hinyo pulang ot ki brio da ka ba kin no ba ki don khti hakikam auria friday ko ham friday me ham lok ko eres kiya ta 22 july ha 22 july me ham lok ko eres kiya ta at around 7 pm ham lok ko police lok ka go jo fir he usme wo lok bola ki 23 hm 20 likha abhi bhi proof de sakta hai ham lok jab ham log upar ka ne phasaya tha us din एसपी था एसपी भी था तो हम लोग को मेडिकल चेकअप के लिए चेकअप के लिए लेने से पहले उसने ऑर्डर किया था कि सब खुद का ऑफिशियल लोग को बोला है एसपी आ रहा है रुको मेडिकल चेकअप के लिए आप लोग को लेके जाना पड़ेगा बस आ रहा है आप लोग के लिए बस भेज रहा है ऐसा बोला हम लोग को तो हम लोग वेट किया शाम साढ़े छः से हम लोग रात एक बजे साढ़े तक हम लोग मेडिकल चेकअप के लिए रूमपू बागान तक वेट किया है Uh, उसके बाद एस uh, आया गाड़ी कुटका गाड़ी में तो उसने बोला हम लोग को हाँ गारो लोग छुट्टियाँ है कैसे जिंदगी जी रहा है देखो खुद को कैसे भेज रहा है देखो ऐसा गारो हिल्स का हम लोग का जुड़ा का एस ने हम लोग को ऐसा बोला उसके बाद हम लोग को मेडिकल चेकअप के लिए लेके गया हाँ उसके बाद हम लोग को सबको मेडिकल चेकअप के लिए लेके गया फिर भी एक उसी दिन तो हम लोग को मेडिकल चेकअप ही नहीं किया था क्योंकि ओल्डर ऊपर को ओल्डर नहीं है ऊपर को ओल्डर मतलब कहाँ से ओल्डर आएगा शिलोंग से शिलोंग से ओल्डर आएगा तो कहाँ कौन ओल्डर डेटा है मेडिकल करो मेडिकल नहीं करो कौन ओल्डर डेटा है हम लोग को तो मालूम भी नहीं था उसके बाद जब हम लोग इस हिसाब इस हिसाब से बात मतलब मेडिकल से सब कुछ किया है हम लोग को कोई कोई मेडिकल किया है कोई तो मेडिकल भी नहीं किया है हाँ उससे पहले अभी वो स्टेटमेंट एस पी का स्टेटमेंट के बारे में मैं अभी बोल रहा हूँ कि उसने बोला तो हमने हम लोग उसको एस पी को क्वेश्चन किया है कि अच्छा सर आजकल में तो कोविड के लिए तो इतना सब लोग डर डर लगता है और कोविड 
पर्सन कोविड पर्सन को तो अलग से रखते है हाँ अलग से रखते है तो फिर हम लोग को क्यों एक पर्सन मिला है मेडिकल चेकअप में लड़का लोग से उसको बोला है कि एक रूम में क्यों रखा है ऐसा पूछा हम लोग तो बोला उसने कोविड को विश्वास मत करो कोविड तो जस्ट छुट्टिया कोविड इज जस्ट कोविड इज बिजनेस एस पी खुद बोला मेरे सामने मेरे आंखों के सामने मेरे को स्टेटमेंट लिया था उसने बोला तो उसने एस ने मेरे को ये भी बोला था कि आप लोग रिम्पू बागान क्यों गया आप लोग को पता नहीं था वहाँ पे गंडा जगह के थोड़ी ना हम लोग को पता है हम लोग पता होने से हम लोग क्यों जाएगा वहाँ पे क्योंकि हम पुलिस डिपार्टमेंट लोग को पहले से पता होगा तो वो लोग नोटिस नोटिस लिखना चाहिए था हम लोग भी पता होगा तो नहीं जाएगा था वहाँ पे क्योंकि हम लोग को तो पता भी नहीं था वो ब्रोचल है या बेचने वाला हाउस है पता भी नहीं था हम लोग को सब इसे हैंग आउट करने के लिए जाता है कुछ मस्ती करने के लिए जाता है कुछ नेगेटिव सेंस नेगेटिव सोच के तो हम लोग वहाँ पे नहीं जाता है हाँ तो मैंने बोला तो एस ने बोला आप लोग रास्ते में पी सकता था ऐसा बोला एस ने तो मैंने बोला रास्ते में तो पेट्रोलिंग जाके खुद को पकड़ता है और पनिशमेंट भी देता है बच्चन ऐसा बोला तो उसने बोला खाली पनिशमेंट देके आप लोग को छोड़ देता था वहाँ जाने की क्या जरूरत था ऐसे बोला अगर आप लोग रिजोर्ट में मस्ती करना है तो दारू पीना है तो खाली ओर्खित लॉज में जाओ ऐसा बोला हर जगह जितना भी होटल हो मत जाओ फिर भी ओर्खित लॉज में जाओ ऐसा बोला चूड़ा में दो टू ओर्खित है उसमें जाओ मतलब ओर्खित में जाने आदमी जाने जाने वाला आदमी लोग तो क्या प्रोस्टिट्यूट भी जाओ कुछ को बेचने वाला आदमी भी जाओ एसपी ने ऐसे पूछा बोला हम लोग को ओर्खित जाओ मस्ती करने के लिए तो इसने खुद बोला हम लोग को ऐसा और कोविड पे छुट्टी आए बिलीव मत करना विश्वास मत करना ऐसा बोला हम लोग को एम एस एस की तरफ कंप्लेन करने से पहले हम मेरे तरफ आना चाहिए था कंप्लेन करने के लिए उसने बोला मेरे को तो मैंने बोला हाँ आप लोग ने आप लोग के हम लोग को एरेस्ट में एरेस्ट किया है तो आपसे हम आपसे आप लोग से क्यों मदद मांगने के लिए आएगा मैंने पूछा ये तो सही बात है ऐसा बोला उसने फिर और ये मैं ये कहना चाहूँगा एम एस आर सी की एम एस आर सी से हम लोग कंप्लेन किया था वहाँ से हम लोग का हियरिंग चलने वाला था एटीन तारीख को हथूरा में तो कोर्ट में हम लोग को बुलाया एटीन तारीख से एटीन तारीख को होने वाला था फिर भी सेवनटीन तारीख को एटीन तारीख से पहले एक दिन पहले वो आके क्या क्या बोल के हम लोग का हियरिंग मार्च तक अपग्रेड किया है बोला है कि इलेक्शन की वजह से हम लोग ये नहीं करेगा नहीं कर पाएगा तो फिर एम और इलेक्शन से क्या रिलेक्शन क्या कनेक्शन है हम लोग को तो पता नहीं है क्या कनेक्शन है वो तो होना चाहिए था अगर मार्च ये वो लोग ने अपग्रेड किया है हम लोग को मार्च तक उसी उसी अंदर में हम लोग कुछ हो गया तो कौन रिक्स कौन रिक्स लेगा एम एस रिक्स लेगा या फिर एस रिक्स लेगा अभी भी इतना कंप्लेन करने के बावजूद भी अभी भी इसी ऑफिशियल लोग को हम लोग की जगह में चुरा में रख रहा है हम लोग ये तो डेंजर हो रहा है हम लोग के लिए तो बहुत डेंजर है हम लोग बहुत डरता है इतना हम लोग को डिटेन कर रहा है हम लोग को थर्गेट कर रहा है अभी भी हम लोग फ्रीडम की जैसा पहले जैसा हम लोग जिंदगी नहीं जी ना पा रहा है नहीं जी पा रहा है हम लोग बहुत डर के हम लोग जाना पड़ता है काम करना पड़ता है अभी भी रख रहा है गारो हिस्से इसी ऑफिशियल लोग को हम लोग क्या करेगा हम लोग तो वैसे भी आम आदमी है we are very desperate for justice since we've been traumatized we are the victims of illegal arrest at rimpus farm so on 22nd uh, july 2022 uh, me and my friends we have gone to rimpus farm to hang out at around 6:30 pm now after some time while uh, we were having snacks inside the car some police personnel they approach us and we were told to wait till the raid is concluded now during the time my partner he was wiping the windshield of his car and i was having snacks inside the car now police personnel uh, present in the spot they requested us to cooperate <coughs> with them telling us to stay inside the premises until the raid is over now thereafter our identity was verified Police personnel informed us that we will be released once the formalities is over, once the formalities is completed. While giving our verifications, we were videographed and even our pictures were also taken. Now they asked us to stand in queue along with the others and we were made to stand in queue for about four and a half hours. And some gunmen, they even walked past by and they mocked us. 
we were so irritated with them and we were also assured that none of our videos and photographs will be leaked, will be publicized. Now, later on, um, even the high-ranking official, he came by and asked us to submit our qualification certificates and our birth certificates. After that, we'll be able to go home, but they didn't send us back. We were taken for medical examination at around 2 a.m. on 23rd, the next day, July 2022, to Tura Civil <coughs> Hospital. But uh, at the time, the male victims were taken to the police thana. Uh, we waited um, at Tura Civil Hospital for about an hour, but no medical test was done. Then we were all brought back to the police station and again met to wait there for another hour. At around 4.30 a.m. on Saturday, that is 23rd, all of us were again taken back to the civil hospital and we waited there without food and water. Without completion of the medical examination, we were brought back again to the police thana at around 5.30 a.m. And uh, we were also told to call our guardians and parents so that on completion of the medical examination, we would be able to go home, that they will hand us over to them. But then around 7.30 a.m., yes, we were taken to the maternity child hospital with the female victims. But instead of handing us over to our family, uh, they straight away brought us back to the police station at around 5 p.m., 5 or 6 p.m., and they put us inside the lockup at around 7 p.m. While we were inside the lockup, one high-ranking official, he came by, he came to the police station and he verbally abused our parents and our guardians. They were also thrown out of the police station in a rude manner by him. While we were inside the lockup, one of the female victims, she asked for water, then only food and water was provided to us. Now, after a few minutes, a lady, later found out that she was the OC of the Tura Thana. She came without uniform. She arrived and she, she seized all our stuff, all our belongings, including our mobile phones, our bags, and then the food that were given to us by our parents. Um, then IO, she was the IO, she's the IO of our case, Mamta Hajong. She even threw some of our food in the dustbin i even asked her if i can keep my food to which she replied to me in a rude manner saying that what food this is not a hotel then after some time we were told to sign the papers along with our parents and guardian signatures at as witness so while signing one police woman in uniform <coughs> using bad words she cursed one of the female victims and while signing uh, I was the last one to sign that papers and when I tried to read the papers, she didn't let me finish reading and we were forced to sign those papers. <coughs> she asked to call my parents saying that I have been arrested and my parents signature is needed as witness. So I inquired her to ask, I inquired her to uh, why was I arrested? She answered that. I was arrested under immoral human trafficking case. Yeah. To the court before the magistrate while it was raining heavily and we were in the court the whole day. While we were there, the OC lady, he, she hit my um, partner on his head and he asked, while asking him to call his parents, he, she even made fun of his late father in the court in front of everyone. And after sometimes, the statement were also taken in the court and we were among those who got bail at around 1 a.m. the next day. Now on 22nd July 2020, that is on Monday, we went to the police station in order to sign in the register which we were supposed to sign or report every Monday for four months as per bail condition from the court. We, always made, we were always made to wait whenever we report at Tura Women Police Station and we were also told that our statement will be taken again and again. Now on 22nd of August 2022, on reporting before OC Tura Women Police Station, she asked if she asked me 
she personally asked me if uh, there were any stuff my clothes in our car which was seized by them for a month and why have I brought those clothes to which I answered that yes um, I took all my clothes because I was going to stay at my boyfriend's house for some days she even asked me if I carried my inner garments for which I also replied that yes they were everything then she accused me saying that she saw my inner garments lying in the floor of the car but I took all my clothes in a plastic bag which were not even touched at the time then she added saying that she was just telling what what she saw but that was totally false allegation because my plastic bag was just lying as it was from the beginning that day in the evening when my partner he went to take the car which was seized by the police for more than a, one, more than one month he saw that all my belongings our belongings were not in the order anymore and the back door the key it was open he saw that my clothes were not in the plastic bag as i have kept them neither it was on the floor as accused by the OC, but it was in the dashboard. Some of our belongings were also missing, including the ca including my cash of uh, about rupees one thousand and to my two old memory cards, which I which I kept in my purse, and my cosmetics, um, and my some of my partner's stuff, and they t even took out my sanitary pads from the packet and they scattered them on the floor in the back seat. Now my grievance is that I'm very sure that we have been wrongly implicated in this immoral human trafficking case. Further, the matter have could been matter could have been solved in um, human <coughs> way instead of unnecessarily arresting us. We were also verbally abused by some of the police personnel who was present at <coughs> Nipu Bagan and while completion of all the formalities, videos and pictures of us of several arrested persons taken at different locations were on circulation in social media also, which is totally unacceptable. It never crossed my mind that men in uniform, they, she, he, dis disrespected our parents and our guardians. So I, we personally filed this complaint in MHRC as we felt that we, were, we are wrongly accused of the crime and moreover, we are still in depress depression after being arrested in this case. Even my family, they had to undergo so much of trauma. Above all, I felt that my career, future career is in jeopardy due to this wrongly accusation, due to this wrongly arrest, and that it has affected us. And I want my respect to be restored and I should be free from all the liabilities from this case. Therefore, in order to get due justice, we have no other option but to file a case in MHRC.